I might be live. Hopefully I'm going live. I think I'm live. Let me know a couple things. One, can you hear me? And two, let me know if the uh, picture's okay. Um, weird settings. Uh, it's got me streaming from Tokyo. I'll stop complaining when there's nothing left to complain about. Hello. So, um, this radio station. We you can hear me. That's good. Caps. Loud and clear. Uh, awesome. Are, good to know. Okay. Well, some people help me stay in the air. Boom. Like, uh, like this. Everything is a okay. All right. It's a dangerous world out there. Um, yourself, nice. Your family. Okay, so we're here. Uh, welcome to my Fallout 4 live stream. First time I'm streaming this game. I don't know if it'll be my last. Uh, I, uh, hi kids. I, um, wasn't gonna live stream this game after a certain amount of consideration because. I'm gonna turn off the radio for now. As much as I love, uh, Diamond City Radio. Turn that off for now. No, I play in first person. Here's my third person guy, by the way. Uh, I made him be old because uh, I was role playing myself. Uh, I didn't make a goofy looking dude. I did in my first uh, my first game before I started over, and then the second time around, I kind of just wanted to get to it. Uh, but the reason I wasn't going to live stream uh, because unlike as I tweeted a, a couple days ago, unlike my uh, Dark Souls and Bloodborne live streams. Uh, I actually like to play this game fairly seriously, <laughs> the Fallout games, and I felt like maybe that wasn't conducive to the way I live stream, which is uh, just to kind of goof off. So this is an experiment in maybe me taking uh, a game a little more seriously as I live stream, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just shoot everybody. Um, the uh, the Porta Pros uh, are broken. That's why you don't see them. They are currently being repaired for free, thanks to the lifetime guarantee. So yay. So. Uh, so anyway, uh, I think I'm about 16 hours into this playthrough uh, of Fallout 4. Uh, we'll go back to my uh, guy. You can uh, you can see where I'm at right now. Um, this is m my current stats. I recently leveled up uh, Charisma. I, get, I put myself another point in there because I want to get Local Hero, which is a perk that will uh, let you link your supply lines together, which I very much want to do, because otherwise I don't actually really understand why uh, settlements are even important. So you can see that there. Uh, this I could see being useful, because then I don't have to schlep back to Sanctuary. Um, yeah, I am Leonard Lipschitz. Uh, there, there is the name, so I didn't go full on serious. I was just hurting for a name. Uh, uh, let's see, what else do we, I guess I could go back and show you the perks that I've taken so far. This tends to be the way I traditionally have played Fallout in general, which is I like to be able to get into the computers, I like to be able to hack uh, uh, without too much trouble. I added Gun Nut, this is one of the last perks I most recently added, just so I could start modding the weapons. Uh, but in general I like to go for science stuff, and I tend to go for medical stuff too. I like to be able to take care of myself. Uh, what else did I get? Right, so I gave myself lock picking. Added some armor. So recently, my most recent perks were adding the... Uh, to buff myself up a little. So I gave myself some more health and armor and a bit more uh, gun mod stuff. And that was because I was getting my ass handed to me uh, by the super mutants. Uh... Oh, it links stuff like water and it shares junk and stuff between workshops. Guardship. Okay. Um, and I am currently, uh, I'm currently ammo challenged. So I've got a lot, of, a lot of awesome weapons. I joined Brotherhood of Steel, so you can see I got the righteous authority uh, from being a, a proto-fascist uh, Brotherhood of Steel guy. But I've got nothing now to shoot it with. Uh, I'm out of most of my ammo. Uh, I, I, I recently... Oh, I thought I bought some shotgun shells. I didn't. 
So I have another legendary weapon there, which is pretty awesome, but currently no shotgun shells. Uh, so I, I need, I'm on a search for more, uh, more ammo today. And, uh, I also thought that I would do some, uh, I would do some side quests. I'm going to stay, uh, a couple people wished that I would not, uh, not do main quest stuff. So I'm not going to do that because I understand people not wanting it spoiled. Uh, I get it. Um, and, uh, I agree with you. I could tour you around, uh, Sanctuary. This is my... I have a few settlements. This is my quote-unquote big one. That's not really big at all. All I did was the minimum to uh, fix, finish that quest. I added a turret. I've got some crops over here. The main thing I did do was I cleaned up everything. And uh, if you're playing... Oh, I think this is, like, this is like one thing I left alone. Look at that. I haven't even read Grognak the Barbarian yet. Suddenly, I have uh, I have better critical hits. That thing's been sitting there since the very beginning of the game. I never even noticed it. I guess I didn't completely dismantle my own home, out of some sense of uh, some sense of uh, uh, you know nostalgia. By the way, speaking of nostalgia, I discovered this yesterday. A fun way to play this game. If you want to uh, make yourself uh, feel bad while you play. You can uh, go to, uh, let's see, misc. You can, you can keep this tape running while you play. There you go. So now you can have your wife and uh, uh, maybe your dead wife and maybe missing kid going on the entire time you play to remind you how fucked everything is. So when I was wandering around yesterday, trying to make myself feel bad, I put that on. Uh, I don't know if you could stop all the tape in progress, because it is kind of depressing. Can I? Yeah, I can stop it. Okay. Okay. Let's turn that off. Alright, so I've cleaned up most of, uh, most of Sanctuary. Uh, I think I might have left a few trees just for the hell of it, like this guy. Um, I'm not sure what, how I feel about this part of uh, Fallout as a, uh, in terms of the gameplay, this whole settlement thing. I do know that it just made me notice every single piece of trash in the entire game world, and it makes me want to clean it up and, and use it. So there's that. Uh, I have a full set of power armor here. It's probably all charged up. Uh, and completely healthy, but I've learned the hard way not to use it all the time uh, because otherwise it will just run out and uh, I won't have it when I really need it. So I'm saving this for the harder quests. Um, the, uh, so let's see what I've got going quest-wise right now. I got a lot. At first I didn't have as many because it's one thing that always stresses me out in Bethesda games, which, which is that I have 8,000 quests, none of them done, uh, which feels a little too much like real life for me. So I like keeping it constrained, but without even really trying, I, I grabbed a whole bunch of other quests. Some of them actually just happen if you're just nearby when things are happening, like the Road to Freedom, uh, Follow the Freedom Trail, a Road to Freedom quest. I think I got just by being near guys in Diamond City who are talking about it. Um, so uh, I thought maybe I would start either by doing uh, a couple uh, Brotherhood of Steel quests because I'm, I'm working for those assholes, uh, uh, which is good for uh, bottle caps and for some advanced weaponry. Otherwise, fuck those guys, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, and then I, let's see, Preston just gave me this one. This is basically the ongoing quests you get uh, as you discover new groups of settlers. And they, they, it depends on, sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're tough. Uh, uh, I can see the chat. Uh, really? I need to keep the fusion core on me, or bad things will happen, I've been told. Alright. I'll keep it on me. You can see I've got a few. Um... 
is it possible somebody may steal the, the power armor? I suppose that's possible, isn't it? They could actually, someone could actually just go away with it. Uh, let's see, map-wise you could say, see I've unlocked quite a bit. Uh, I don't know. Cleared the beat station. Uh, a lot of this stuff came from doing the quests for the Minutemen, not the band. Uh, though, if there were any quests that were offered by the Minutemen, the band, Lord knows I'd be on those right away. Uh, I think this is a quest for uh, for what's his name at the uh, at the uh, police station, who's one of the bigger motherfuckers in the whole game. Uh, yeah, cleansing the Commonwealth. This guy, that guy's a real son of a bitch at the police station, and he's the only NPC so far that I've had a hard time not putting a bullet in his brain. Uh, so I'm not as motivated to do stuff for him. Uh, so Green Top Nursery, I don't know if I've, I don't think I've uncovered that place yet. I have not. But we can head that way. No, Paladin is okay. That dude's all right. It's the other guy. It's his, like, lieutenant guy. It's a real douchebag. He keeps, like, doubting my commitment to the Brotherhood, even though I've done, like, ten quests for those guys now. Um, so we're going to head out here and try to find a new area. Um, my overall opinion of this game so far is I think it is very good. I don't know what score I would have given it yet as a game critic. I think it's too early for me to say. There are there are things that have annoyed me. Uh, fortunately, ah, middle school. Fortunately, I have uh, been relatively glitch-free, knock on wood. And now that I'm streaming, it'll probably all go bad. But here on the PC, on my PC, I have not had too many problems. I did need to dumb down the graphics a little bit to get everything to behave. I am playing it in... Uh, in the highest resolution possible for me, uh, 2560. Uh, but I did have to lower some of the graphic options so that uh, things wouldn't go kablooey. But in general, it's uh, ratched up pretty high, and it, and it looks good, and it feels good. Um, I'm not that thrilled with the, uh, the uh, keyboard mouse uh, layout. I find it very problematic. Yes, I am still at my standing desk, and yes, I love it. Uh, I just started playing Hearthstone again. I will try to answer your questions as they come up, but I'm also going to focus on the game a lot. Uh, the keyboard and mouse setup bothers me. Mo not in the game world. I'm fine here. This is all good. But it's mostly when I'm in uh, a menu interface, and the game can't seem to decide whether I should be using tab, uh, enter, or escape uh, at any given time, and that bugs the shit out of me. And it keeps making me take my hand off the mouse. So I did temporarily switch to the uh, Xbox controller, which felt better uh, until it came to aiming. And then I realized I was better off this way. So now I am trying to, uh, now I'm trying to uh, get used to uh, keyboard mouse again. Uh, system specs, uh, I believe I have a, uh, well I know I have a Titan, this is my graphics card, uh, with, with, uh, with a lot of RAM in it. So it really, the, in terms of graphics, I should be, you would think I would be able to crank this thing. And in theory, I mean in reality, I've had to, I cannot play it at ultra settings at all. I think I'm more on like high. Uh, oh, missing ammo, right, I forgot. Um, so, uh, right, I probably should have loaded up a weapon with ammo. Uh, that might have helped. So hopefully I'm not gonna die right away. Um, Let's see, I think uh, this one actually has some ammo left, it does. Uh, another interesting thing about Fallout 4 for me so far is I've rarely used uh, that. So uh, now that I'm like not uh, not really, uh, oh now I, okay. All right, well! I'm really, uh, I'm really uh, lacking in ammo. This is a bad, bad thing. Uh, and I'm not sure what to do about that. Um, so, so I haven't been playing a lot of, uh, using a lot of VATs because I actually, unlike basically every other Fallout uh, to date, 
um, it hasn't felt as necessary. The shooting feels a little better. Of course, when I've got these one and reload things going on, uh, that's not a good thing. Uh, but thank God for uh, dog meat here, who's taking care of me. Oh my God. Uh, what I really need is my double bill shotgun that does 50% uh, extra damage to super mutants, because that would help me with these motherfuckers. Oh God, poor dog meat. Thank God dog meat can't die, because that would be one obliterated dog right about now. Um, I'm gonna run away. I do have melee weapons. I have a couple good melee weapons, uh, but I don't have a lot of uh, physical strength. I only have, a, uh, I've only put three points into that, so I don't know how much damage I'm gonna do. You can see I have at least one uh, legendary, actually. I've got, uh, hopefully I didn't sell it, or, or accidentally sell it. Got a shock baton, but I also have a, uh, where did it go now? Uh oh. This uh, sniper rifle has been a good friend to mine of mine. Uh, man, I thought I had a uh, a kind of amazing machete. I might have accidentally sold it, which I've done a couple times in this game. All right, I do have a lot of ammo with my uh, with my sniper rifle, so that's a good thing. And I should probably go rescue dog meat. Though I don't think dog meat can actually die. I think dog meat will just stay wounded until you go uh, fix them up. And actually, I think when combat uh, ends, quote unquote, uh, yeah, see, he's actually better now. I think he just self heals. Uh, I don't know why they let you do that. Uh, I am glad that that dog meat can't die though. And I would imagine that's the same for all the NPCs. Like you probably can't kill Preston. I'm not sure though. That's just dog meets footsteps. Okay, so we lost the uh, big super mutant. Fusion cell, that's nice. I'll take the pistol. Yeah, no companions can die this time. I think that was the right call uh, by uh, Bethesda, especially with the dog. I mean, come on. Uh, that would just be heartbreaking. I would actually never use dog meat if uh, he was allowed to die. A uh, great thing about dog meat, too, 